we're going to look at variable scope. I have what looks like one variable s in here, that's a string. All I'm going to do is read in from the con, well here's a console, I'm going to read in from the console, store it as s, then I'm going to call a method, which is the method caps, I'm going to print out right here the value of s, and then it will print out whatever the value, return value caps has computed, which just capitalizes it. And then I'm going to also print out separately the value of s afterwards, after all of this code is run. So if you put the cursor here, it will highlight the other method or every time you either use or declare the method caps. So you see it down here. It takes in a string s, and you might be wondering, well, is this the same s as the s up there? Uh, the quick answer is no. We created the original string s here which where the block you declare it in is very important. It was declared in the public static void main block, which starts at the top curly brace and ends at the bottom curly brace here. So that's where the string s lives. There's a second string called s, also has the same name. I'll change this in a little bit. Uh, coincidentally has the same name, but if you notice this string right here s, is outside of the block here, the block being where these yellow highlights are. You can also see in the horizontal alignment all these rows are aligned, so they're all in the same block. So when we leave this block of code, s no longer exists. However, when we call the method caps, it's gonna send the value s has down to here. So this will get the value of whatever we type in. It's gonna change s to be uppercase. It's going to print out inside the method uh, that s has a value, whatever this value is. It'll print that out, return it, which then comes back here. You'll see the result on the screen. Let's go ahead and run this. I'll just send hey. It's going to capitalize it, but what I really want to notice is inside the method, this is inside the method s equals hey. That was right there, it was after I capitalized it. The result of caps hey, which is what I originally typed in, lowercase hey, the result of caps lowercase hey is hey, and just to be safe, I printed out the value right here of s, and you see that it's lowercase hey. So what's going on? There's two different variables here. One of them is called s, and the other one is also called s. Let's change this from being called s, and I can do control R to rename, we'll call it str. So now as a different name, it's definitely not the same name as s, it's still a separate variable here. So it does everything the same. Technically we're calling this str, so let's make that comment correct. You're going to see the exact same output. So we get inside the method, which is here, we capitalized it, and this the result is capital dog, that's after the method comes back, and then at the very end we print out little s again right here. So you can also see, again, the highlighting, it highlights all the occurrences of little s, I'm also next to the parentheses, let me get the cursor out of there, you can see all the occurrences of s up here, and then str, all the occurrences down here. So hopefully that will help you with scope. Just whatever, whatever block you declare a string in or any variable, it will exist inside that block. And if you want it to get outside the block, you're going to have to send it as a parameter. There's a few other ways to do it, but you're going to have to send the value somehow.